every part that I've eaten you for long, they will not be able to hold you anymore. <laughs> you know, when God said, when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, they were like them, they were dreaming. There are some things you've been thinking that is not possible. After this month, you begin to walk in them in Jesus' name. So what we're dealing with this month is we're, we're walking in the realm of the, the limitless God. The God that nothing can stop. The God that is called the Almighty. Not man. God that can do things that nobody can challenge. Now we're trying to look his power. What he has done for us. What he can do for us. We say it is the king of kings that no man can challenge. He is the Lord of lords. He is the beginning and the end. Before you, have create, you are created, before he created you, he has prepared everything you needed on earth. Do you read it in the book of Genesis? Before he brought man to the sin, he has prepared the sun, he has prepared the darkness, he has separated everything, he has made everything ready for you. Bible says, some people say he's the ancient of days. The one that can do and undo. The Bible said it's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You are serving a wonderful God. Can you tell yourself, I'm serving a wonderful God? In the book of Genesis chapter 18, verse 14, it said to Abraham, Is anything too hard for me? Even though you have been waiting for that child for 24 years. Even though it looks as if things are not working. Is anything too hard for me? If I can brought, bring you out from the spirit that is killing people at middle age. If I can brought you to a land that is flowing with me and honey. Is anything too hard for me to do? I want to let you to know that nothing is too hard for this God. All things is possible to, for him. In the book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. Jesus looked at them as they were troubled, man. He said, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. You are serving God that no power can stop. You are serving God that can do all things. You are serving God that can fight your battle. It spoke to Mary. When things that are unusual was about to happen to Mary, Mary said, hey, Jeff, stop it. Do you think... Have you ever heard that someone pregnant without a man? He said, listen, for with God, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. For with God, if God is in it, if any man have never achieved it in your, in your family, if God is in it, it's possible. Your parent can fail. Your family can fail. But if God is in it, he said, it shall not be impossible. With man, it can be impossible. But with God, it is not impossible. Nothing that is impossible with him. It can do all things. For no word from God shall go without his power. That's why he said, if God be for you, who can be against you? Tell somebody beside you, you are lucky that you have this God. You are not saying anybody. Tell somebody, you are lucky that you have this God. Tell somebody, you are lucky that you have this God. You must get to a point in your life that you are serving a God that can do all things. Do you know you are God yourself? You are God. You are not ordinary. I don't know many of you that are looking at yourself as if I'm just ordinary. My parents just give back to me. No, your parents are just a vessel or a vehicle through which you came to the world. They are not the author and finisher of your destiny. Oh, they, can, they might have tampered with your destiny while you are still young. They might have misdirected your destiny. But if you know him, for they that knows their God, for they that, what, that knows their God, the moment you know that you are serving a limitless God that can do all things, your story becomes a different thing. Jabez came to a point in his life when he knew that his mother called him Jabez, that his mother had messed up his destiny, and he found that I'm from the family of from Benjamin. I heard about how their life looks like. I heard about how God relates with them. He talked to himself. If this is them God that they said can do all things, let me speak to this God. And Bible said, with the issue of sorrow and bitterness, God turned his life around. It was more honorable. I pray for you this morning, anything that have limited your glory in any capacity, you are prevailing in the name of Jesus. I can hear your voice. You are prevailing in the name of Jesus. So I'm here this morning to tell you that it is possible. Tell somebody beside you it is possible. Tell the person it is possible. Tell him it is possible to rise. Tell the person it is possible to move forward in life. Tell somebody it is possible to live right in. Tell somebody it is possible to, be, to prevail over the battle of life. 
There's a story in the book of Mark chapter 20, verse 24. I'm going to read verse 9, chapter 9, 20 to 24. Mark said, and they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, I'm reading Mark chapter 9, verse 20 to 24. And when he saw him straight away, Bible said, the spirit tied him and fell on the ground. He's a little boy. A little boy that they gave back to, that know no problem, that have not committed sin. But a spirit just desired that I want to mess up the life of this young man. If he has been grown and committed sin, I won't mind. If he has messed up his life, I won't mind. But a young boy of eight years old that the father gave back to. Bible said, a spirit just took this boy and tied him down and fell the boy down. And make him to begin to form foam in his mouth. What disease do we call that? Epi what? A boy that was just given back to. From bad. And they look, look, look what happened. And in verse 21, and Bible said, and Jesus asked his father, how long is it ago since this came upon this boy? And the father cried out, since he was a child, since I have given birth to him. There are many of you that the problem of your life is since you have been given birth to. Some of you have been carrying issue that you thought this issue will never live because you grew up in the issue. Many of you grew up in poverty. Many of you grew up in environment of sin. Many of you grew up in environment of no progress. No, if you grow up in an environment of abuse, so it has become part and parcel of your life. Even though you come to Christ, you brought all the luggages, you didn't drop it. All your mind is that it's still the same. Let me just begin to pray to cover it up. For some people, depression has been things of from their childhood. But can I tell you today, no matter what the problem is in your life, God has not created it with you. You are dropping it this morning. I can't hear your voice. You are dropping it this morning. You are dropping it this morning. The essence of this 30 days fasting is for you to know that your story can change. And after this meeting, your story is changing. It doesn't matter how long you have failed in destiny, your story is changing. Listen to what happened in verse 22. I'm reading the book of Mark chapter 9, verse 22. And of time, it has cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. To destroy him, everything that have been gathered together to destroy your glory today. The Lord will destroy them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything that have been gathered to destroy your image, the Lord will destroy them. Amen. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on me. Have compassion on me. And help me. That's what he said. And hear what Jesus said. Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe. What did he say? All things are possible to him that believeth. If you believe, all things are possible. It doesn't matter what you are going through. It is possible to overcome it. Now, God did not create you to live in, in sin. It is possible. So the first thing I want to speak to us about today is that it is possible to live a holy life. It is possible. To live right for God. It is possible. Listen, it is very possible in the, the same book of Mark that I'm talking about, Mark chapter 10, I want you to look 26, verse 27. They were even more astonished and said to one another, how can we live a righteous life? That's what they were saying there. How can we live a righteous life? And many of you that are not yet, this Bible has been written over 2,000 years ago. Now, some of you are in this season now. This age, if you have been to New York or been to some state here, you know that to live a righteous life is very tough. I don't know many of you that have walked around and you have lived in some places and you have went to some places. You find that there are some things that you don't, you don't feel that are old now, went through during your age, when you are young, that you see now that is very tough. What your children are going through now is very tough. Till I finished university, I didn't see a girl smoking. Yeah. Till I finished university, no girlfriend. Maybe because of me. Don't, don't follow my own. It's a different thing. But do you know that nine years, ten years old boys are having boyfriend now? Do you know eight years old people are smoking now? The environment is so corrupt. It's not of, it has been before, not now. 
The disciple cry out, Lord, how can we live right for you? How can we do your will? How can we lead, will it be possible for us to be saved? See what Jesus said in verse 27. Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible. That means on your own strength, with human's ability, it might be difficult. Look what he said in verse 27. But not with God. For all things are possible with God. That means if you have to live exceptional life, you have to live with God, you have to live an holy life, you need God. Tell somebody you need God. Remember what he said in that verse 29. He said, with man it is impossible. But remember what he said that with God, all things are possible. So how can you live? How will it be possible to live a righteous life? Number one, separate yourself from those things that is holding you down. It is possible. It is possible. It might be tough. Someone said, Pastor, my friends, how will I be able to do it? You know, your friends have nothing to do with your glory. And unfortunately, you are not born on the same day. Unfortunately, you are not born with the same parents. Unfortunately, you have different eyeballs. Unfortunately, you have different DNA. Then some of them will leave you when their life moves forward. Some of them will not wait for you when glory comes into their life or blessing comes to their life. They will think about themselves first. And I always think about this. Have you ever seen your friend that really want you to be blessed as they are blessed? Only few. Only few friends that they are blessed and they want you to be blessed the same way. They rather be giving you. They rather be showing you. The day you want to know more than them become an issue. Even those that are sitting beside you in the church. So why do you want to have a company of sin? And want to copy them. Want to live like them. Want to behave like them. You can live an exceptional life. See what he said in verse 82. Psalm 82 verse 5. He said, Listen, he said they do not know who they are in Christ. Psalm 82 verse 5. They don't know that they carry glory. He said, neither will they understand. They are not understanding what I've embedded in them. Look at what he's saying in that bathroom. Because, of the, because they don't really know. They are walking in darkness. All the foundation of their hearts are out of course. He said, listen to me. I have said to you several times that you are not ordinary. Verse 6, that's what I said. That. Listen, I have said to you, it doesn't matter if you don't know your parents. You don't need to know them. I have said to you. Even if your background is messed up, I have said to you that you are God. And all of you are the children of the Most High God. Verse 7 is very powerful, which is my fear now for the church. Because many times we are so religious and you don't know that you carry so much in you. He said, if you don't believe what I'm telling you, he said, you will die like ordinary man. You are not ordinary. You carry God in you. If not, you will just die like ordinary man. That means what is affecting people in the world will affect you. What is holding them down will hold you down. That means you must learn to live for Christ. Tell somebody I will live for Christ. Tell somebody, be holy. Say to yourself, be holy. The church are quiet now when I'm talking about holiness. <laughs> oh my God. Either you like it or not, you will stay here for long. But you can live right for Christ. You see, what, what does it mean to live holy for Christ? It means to be set apart, separate from things of the world. Set it is possible. Because your breakthrough lies in your ability to separate yourself from God. Because, you see, man can only do little, but God can do all things. You need him for your breakthrough. You need him for your success. You need him for every expectation of your possibility. That is why you need to set yourself apart from him. You are not too young to live right. Bible talk about a king that was eight years old. Joseph, he was just eight years old. He became a king. It's possible to rise as a tender age. Don't think you are just 13 years old. You are just 12 years old. You are just 20 years old. You are just 50 years old. You can set yourself apart and desire not to live as other people are living. Bible said, Daniel make up his mind. I will not corrupt myself with the beans, with the food of the, of, of, of the king. He said, be giving me beans. I will not drink the red wine. Every one of them have to be doing romance. I will not do romance. I will wait. Everybody have to have sex before marry. I will not do it. If that is what will make you not to marry me, go ahead. No, let all Abednego let them go. I will not be. Until we marry, I will not do it. 
Oh, if it's to lie, I will not do it. I will hold on to God and start God. You can live holy life. How will it be possible? Give your life to Christ. You have to give it to Christ. Uh, it says something in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 22 and 24. It says, abstain from all appearance of what? Of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you holy. The word sanctify means every day. I told people if it's before you normally smoke 10 boxes. Sanctification means you're able to smoke. After 10 boxes, at least you can smoke five now. Now, some of you lie to yourself. The moment you give your life to God, every sin you've been committed will go. It doesn't go easily. It takes God's grace. And that is why you need every day to surround yourself with spiritual people that will help you. That is why every day you need people that will help your spirit. Not the old people that you are doing it before because it is not easy. With your own flesh, it will be impossible for you to live right. But it is possible with God. That is why you occupy your mind with things of God. That is why you don't find yourself doing things with the people that have put you in it before. You need God. Tell somebody it is possible to live right. I can hear your voice now. The church is slow now. Tell yourself it is possible to live right. You know what he said in the book of John chapter 15 verse 7? He said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you. He said, you will ask Anything that you desire from who? Not from your parent because your parent might not even have it. But God can raise help from anywhere. If your word abides in me and you abide in me, you will ask. What does it mean that your mind word abide in you? That means you obey. It's a process. You do what I ask you to do. If this book of life did not depart from your mouth day and night, Say so you will have what? Sources. There are different sources. You want to have sources? As a tender age, good sources. You have to dwell in God. Allow the word of God. Somebody said, Pastor, it's not easy to read the word. I know it's not easy to read the word. But you can make your phone to be reading the word to you. You don't need to read it. You don't, have, you don't need to read the word. If you have iPad, just outline it and say, speak. Sit down there, just align all the Bible. Say, speak. Just sit down. You'll be reading it to you. Reading it to you. So we, you need to separate yourself what? From God. From God. From, from, from the word. So that the word of God can have impact in you. For Colossians chapter 1 verse 10 says something very powerful. It said that ye may walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. So it is possible to live for God. We have four months left for this year to be over. If God will be checking your heart thermometer. No, God has a thermometer. He has a thermometer that he used to check your balance. He told that king, he said, I weigh you <laughs> in the balance and you are light. And you did not want what I thought you were. Because of that, you can't stay in the position anymore. God weigh you. This boy that wants to become great, what is his heart? This girl that wants to become wonderful tomorrow. Can, will he serve me if I bless him? Have you checked everyone that have been blessed in the world? The first thing first, they are in the house of God. Uh, many of you want to first, uh, people that ask, Michael Jackson, they started from the church. With me, they started from where? Have you heard when he was talking, giving her life to Christ? In God. Have you checked every one of them that they are hearing their voice now from God? Be guilt from God. The Coke family, from where? From God. They said they are Sunday school teacher. The person that did your car we're writing, they are all from God. They are all from God. But many times when God has lifted us up, we forget. I don't want to forget. It remains four months. God can still do what you desire. He can still give it to you. If you can walk with him. Tell somebody I will walk with him. Let me give you the last one. My time is up. Number two. It is possible to shine. Tell somebody it is possible to shine. Tell somebody I will shine. I can hear your voice say I will shine. You see, I don't know about you, but long time ago, I encouraged myself. I remember my parents told me, my parent is pastor also. And um, the, the pastor, the top of the pastor is that things were hard. Uh, you know, if you, if you pastor where the pastor sometimes, they don't have access to people like this. Are people like you and give you money? They don't. We bring yam, fowl. Is that what we eat? <laughs> and we're going to school. And I've shared with you several times. 
And the first time it's about school, I need to enter school. And my father, look, where will you find the money to go to university? He look, he try. He's a prophet. He try. He has people that will come and pray, big people. If I mention some of them, I know them. See now. But they won't come and plan for it. This is your child. Let me even help them. Many of you parents pull your life of your children and your family. Die and see what will happen in the spiritual realm. We've gone. Father, people will be running after your property, your bill. That's what they will run after. I've seen. No? I've seen. Something happened some time ago, almost five years now in this land. A woman that I've worked out with the husband. And that's, thank God that something is changing in Africa. And the woman only have, the man only have girls. And they have six houses. The moment the man died, they told the lady, you know, you don't have any inheritance here. And she's the one working. The man also is working. Because he's taking care of the house. But she wants the one more die. Find out oh, everything was taken away. Nothing. But when no, no, I discovered, my father told me, he said, okay, the only thing I can give you, we sit everybody down. Maybe my siblings are listening to me, they will know. Every Friday we have to fast. The only thing I can give you is for you to connect to God. And we say that in your education. So that this is the work of God we are doing. The only thing I can give you, your school, I will try my best and know God. And do what? He said, if you can know him, he can raise help out for you. If you are looking up to me for help, it might be late. I might not be able to do it. All this dream you are having, the only person that can do it is who? I, I will never forget. He will say, pray. He said, I mean, any one of you that can pray through, we rise. That's the word. If you can pray through. And every month, Sunday, Monday morning, when we are leaving home to university, we will wake up 5 o'clock. They say, Simon, if you pregnant any girl, your school stop. I don't know many of you parents that have had, many of you that have had that message. You say, your school stop. It's not, it's not like here that you can go and work as a student and be going to school. No work. You live in your parent's house till you go to, you marry. Now, it's so wonderful culture and so rich. And not so rich. Not that one person as you are assisting, you're not talking to your parent anyhow. Yeah, yeah. In the, uh, yeah, when I'm doing my school, yeah, yeah. The sermon in the morning, we prepare for it on Monday morning. So the sermon will go for 45 minutes, so we prepare. Yeah. Yeah, and if you change face, there's tendency you won't go to school in that morning. It is possible to shine. There is something in you that, it can, that can make you shine. There is something in you that God has deposited in you. In the book of First Colossians, First of Colossians chapter 127, we read, it said, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of, his, of this mystery. There is a mystery. There is a mystery in God lifting you among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you, the hope of glory. You are a star. Tell somebody you are a star. Tell the person you are a star. Uh, do, have you noticed something about star? Even though it shines anytime, but it, it, the, the power of its shining doesn't come during light. It comes during darkness. That is why you know that there is something in you that can prevail in destiny. There is something in you that can make your life grow. So the making of star is like a making of soup. The making of what? Soup. <laughs> those of you know, those, those of you that know how to know do soup. No, no, do soup. <laughs> Anybody can make soup. The ingredient is the one that matters. If you can get the right ingredient, the soup will be sweet. If the ingredient is bad, the soup will be bad. The reason why you are where you are is the ingredient you are bringing together. The process of your destiny. Let me share this with you before I close in first service. There are some gang of refrant and people that came to David. Remember the story? They said they are distressed. They don't have anything to do. Their life is upside down. Many of them came to David. And David became a captain. That means he on the undergoes training under David. To start shine. For the glory of God in you to shine. There is a training you need to go through. Bible said after they have gone on that training. Bible said they became what? A mighty man. They trained the star himself to come out. They trained themselves out of poverty. If you read that Bible, they said they are indebted. They are distressed. 
They have no glory. They have nothing. But they train themselves. They train their star to become great. They train their glory to rise. It is possible to shine. After this morning, your glory will shine. Amen. Can you hear me? Your glory will shine. Amen. That story I'm telling is the book of 1 Samuel chapter 22. Bible says, and they train themselves. There is star in you. He said, he that is in you is greater than him that is in the world. He said, if Christ be for you, who can be against you? You can overcome your problem. It doesn't matter how big the problem is, it is possible to shine. Tell yourself, you have never shined before. Tell yourself, I will shine. Tell yourself, my family will shine. If you are kids there, tell yourself, I will shine. Uh, stop concentrating your attention on Hollywood. Concentrate your attention on the word of God and your book. You will shine. You don't need to look those that on, don't look those people on the TV. Nobody concentrate on CNN and TV and shine. Concentrate on where you are going. If your focus is what? Is strong. All your body will be full of what? Light. Be focused. You can shine. It is possible. It doesn't matter what devil have said. What you want to become is possible. Yes. It doesn't matter what men have said that it's not possible. What God have said is possible. Yes. Do you believe in God? Yes. Say, whose report will you believe? Listen, don't move with what you are hearing around. That is tough. It's not tough. Oh. It's the year you are, it's what you are hearing. If you get to another place where it is easy, your story will change. After this morning, your story is changing. Yes. Rise up on your feet this morning. Rise up on your feet this morning. It is possible. It is possible to rise. It is possible to rise. It is possible to shine. It doesn't matter what enemy I've said. Can you begin to say to yourself, it is possible to live right. It is possible. Tell yourself, I will live right. I will live for God. I will shine in destiny. I will rise in destiny. My glory will rise. No power will bury my destiny. I will become what God has ordained me to become. I, intentionally, I will become great. It doesn't matter what devil is talking about me. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer this morning. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer this morning. The I, Joseph, I will rise above sin. I will live right. Intentionally, I will rise. I will make it. Are you speaking to your destiny? It doesn't matter the circumstances that is surrounding me. I will rise. I will not marry wrong. Speak to yourself. I will not marry my enemy. My glory will rise. Are you speaking to your glory? Speaking to your glory. There is time in you. He said, arise and shine. There is power in you. Arise and shine. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you hear your email like you told them? Yeah. Ooh.